Welcome back guys to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about top two companies that are trading below $10, which in the long run has a huge gross potential, at least 5x to 10x gross potential, you know. One of the company, I already discussed it on my other video, actually did a very detailed video about it. I will leave that video's link in the description below or up in the right, in the right corner of the video so you can find more about this company. It already doubled since we talked about it in my previous video. But guys, please do your own profound research. So before you make any type of decision, I'm not trying to advise you to buy into these companies. I'm just giving you some of my suggestion in companies that I bought and I'm investing. So, but before that, uh, let's talk a little bit about some of the companies that we recommended at the beginning of this month. So uh, some of the spec watch list, I actually shared all this with you guys and they're doing pretty good, you know, I'm sure uh, you saw my video about CIIG merger right now. It is at 25% up today and uh, Luminar is 39% up. So I sold some of my shares here and put it on new upcoming companies. You know, this is just my swing trade account. So I had to act like a swing trader. I'm not going to be hold, hold these companies in a long term investment. Some of those investment that I had is going to be on my other account. And this is just my public account and how I'm going to working hard to build a hundred thousand dollar portfolio so these are the three companies that actually invested in uh, northern genesis geek capital stable road acquisition and trident acquisition tdac srac nga and gik so overall i bought about about 200 500 150 and 185 about seven eight hundred shares on this one because they're trading at the base price about $11, $15 or so. But uh, there is a huge gain I got from uh, Luminar Technology, Gorse Metropolis. I was talking highly about this company because it has a huge gross potential already up by 138% since I talked about it. That's why I sold some of my shares and put the money into other upcoming companies. So it ran up so much in a very short period of time, guys made actually the guy the founder a uh, multi-billionaire now so that is very interesting you know so i bought into this company Orzen genesis about 300 dollars share this is not the company i'm going to be talking about today actually about 300 shares i'm just going to show you how i kind of do um my swing trade you know the reason i bought into this is because you know this company i know the merger didn't complete yet but they're merging with uh, lion electric you know Compared to other companies that I see right now, Lion Electric has a well profound business model at this moment. So, and even if I lose, the maximum amount I'm gonna be losing is about $4 per share or so because the base price eventually is gonna be about $10. So, I put that into consideration. That is my strategy, right? It could be, if I am right, the uh, grows actually is more better than the risk. So, that's why I'm taking this risk. And the other one is SRAC. This is actually merging with a company that uh, do ride share service in the space. So very futuristic, huge gross potential as well. I don't have that many shares, about 150 shares. I bought it about $13. Right now it's trading at $15, a little bit up on this one. So another one, it's GIK. Do more research on this one because it's uh, merging was a very good company on electric sector i think it's ford so if the rumors are through and if this merge goes through this is going to be somewhere up here in a very short period of time 20 30 dollars so it will help my swing trade account so much because even this 10 eleven thousand dollar investment on this four or five companies can simply give me about 10 to twenty thousand dollars return and uh you know it might not make sense at this moment but i'll get back to you maybe after two three weeks and with the result and so that you guys can really see what I what I, what I, what, what I really mean right so let's get to the companies that I want to talk about today I am really excited about these two companies because they have a huge gross potential one is aqua bounty and the other one is nano nano dimensions abq and nndm so aqua bounty right now it is up about 100% since we recommended this um, stock, which was trading at $4.17. Right now it is trading at $8. I'll leave the video in my description link below or an up right side of the video. So 
about 100%, 100% growth. That is crazy, you know? I don't have that many shares on my public portfolio, only 150 shares. That is already up by 33%. So what does this company do? A very short recap is the company pretty much have their own farms and uh, they combine agriculture with genetic uh, biotechnology and uh, manufacture their own salmons pretty much genetically modified salmons you know that grows faster in a very short period of time and uh, you know once they hit the market i'm sure the company like this they make ton of money because uh, if you compare two different salmons for example these two are salmons that are at the same age the one at the bottom is organically growing the one on top is genetically altered so if you see the size difference is about 3x and on top of that the, the salmon on top is uh, can be ready in 18 months but at the bottom one is can be ready at 36 months so this is very disruptive for the marketplace this company is not new they've been around since 1991 but right now they're actually getting publicly traded and getting more exposure because back in the days it was so and ethical even to talk about these things but now people are becoming more open-minded that's why i believe there is a huge growth potential i want you guys to really look into this company put it on your watch list if you see at the bottom it says aqua bounty aqua advantage salmon can reach adult size in 16 to 28 month instead of 36 months for regular atlantic salmon this transgenic salmon eats 25 percent less feed and are about 20 percent more efficient at converting that food to flesh that's why it grows bigger because it has higher efficiency in converting the food that it ate into flesh and you know that is genetically altered genetically enhanced you know maybe in the future we'll see genetically enhanced people too that's gonna be for a different different topic you know but overall it is doing pretty good if you see in yahoo finance right now this market is overbought for where it is standing right now but it's a gross company so it is kind of very hard to to see if this company is over over overbought because at the end of the day if people still believe in it they keep dumping their money in here right the market cap is about 361 million dollars that is what actually interested me because it's a small com company pretty much a penny stock right and i believe a company like this has a huge potential of going at least three billion dollars which is 10x your money it's in food industry and that is one industry that still needs a lot of improvement so at least this company even if it gets to a billion dollar that is three four x your investment so that is what what i am seeing at this moment you know and right now it is kind of at the overbought side because the analysts were predicting five dollar at high price target but right now it's trading at eight dollar and twelve cents okay that is very interesting so one company that is actually buying heavily into this one is ARK Invest I actually kind of put out uh, a video about this one too right now they have about 5.6 million shares and when I was making a video it was 22 million dollar now it is at 35 million dollars because pretty much they have grown up to 60 to 70 percent that's why it is 35 million dollars so this is crazy i mean just the beginning for this company just look up to it and uh, if you see the graph the chart right here it is doing a very good growth very consistent but we cannot predict that uh, because if you see the last uh, six months or the last three months it was just trading at two three dollars then it kind of got a spike when ARK Invest start to you know pay attention to a company like this but in the last one month or so this has been growing very consistently very consistently so I would look look into it and you know see where this company is gonna go maybe I won't buy it right here because this is like kind of overbought maybe it can come back somewhere to five dollars or six dollars that would be my another entry point but right now it is kind of overbought for me but just keep it on your watch list so that you can get that price you know so now let's go to the other company which is nano dimensions i'm sure a lot of you heard about this company there is a lot of hype going on around this company 
especially if you go to youtube a lot of youtubers are talking about it say 5x your money 10x your money do not buy a company because of hype because of what other people say even because of what i am saying at this moment i'm just giving you my reason why i'm willing to buy into this company not because uh, ark invest bought into it but what i have seen in this company and why i believe that maybe there is a 2x 3x potential in this one uh today if you see the stock price is jumping right now it's about seven dollars and 74 cents you know because of this news nano dimension reports 10 customers upgrade their manufacturing to dragonfly ldm lights out digital manufacturing in 2020 i know their overall sales has been affected because of the pandemics but right now it's kind of popping up and most customers start to upgrade to uh, this dragonfly 3d printer because it is a big deal if you know what dragonfly does it is a multi-material injection system that can print electronics just imagine that you know how helpful it can be for designing and prototyping you know if you are a company who want to design or prototype um let's say that a new uh, cheap or a new uh any a new design you know you're not going to be worried if someone is going to steal your ipvs because it reduces the number of eyes on the product i'm sure arc invest is looking into that because there is a huge growth potential in that sector overall you know especially if you see you have a design somewhere you know you design the chip and your chip is exactly manufactured in another company somewhere in china and uh, you'll be like in big trouble but that this kind of reduces that uh, possibility but how much the the product cost and why who can afford it that is another question we should ask right uh if you see right here an arc invest you know and see how much shares they own i think uh they have a pretty significant share right here if you guys can see they have about 3.5 million shares about 27 million dollars right now so that is pretty interesting you know i'm sure they have done their own research they're not just gonna buy into a company like this based on hype that's why i say do your own profound research and that is very important you know if you see about arc invest back in the days they were struggling a lot especially in 2019 once they get the patent and directric ink and they start uh, printing circuit boards then they become you know more and they start working in uh, aerospace defense medical and automotive industries you know they start to penetrate that market that kind of give them different type of exposure into the industry you know this 3d printing machines they cost about hundred thousand to two hundred fifty thousand dollars and the question you gotta ask is who can afford them a lot of uh, small companies startup companies i think they can afford them especially uh they can buy and uh, use this company for all their own benefit you know when i was in college i had an opportunity to use uh, 3d printer and uh, it hasn't topped yet you know compared to where it could be and overall growth right here you can see about 2.3 billion by 20 uh 29 so is that is that true maybe no one can know that but uh if things are working out and a lot of people start to use their product then it still can be a good a good deal right at this moment it is about 839 million dollars market cap for what the company has done uh i think it's kind of overvalued you know but again it's a gross company it is very hard to kind of put a market cap on it because uh, for a long-term investors i'm sure they have to do a lot of research in the in their financials balance sheets and all that but there is very limited resource when it comes to that that is one of the red flags that i can i'm seeing right now but if you see the overall chart it the, the price has been going crazy you know this uh, not long ago this was trading about two dollars or so it just popped into eight dollars you know that's about 400 percent growth you know I didn't expect this uh, will reach about eight dollars you know that kind of what grabbed my attention uh, you can see there is a smooth growth going on but one thing that i noticed is every time when there is a good news it pops up and kind of comes down it goes up and kind of comes down you know every time you know has done about three four times so that's why i'm just suggesting for people not to rush and to buying it into right now right now it kind of looks like it looks like it is overbought based on the hype so i will kind of wait on it and see uh, maybe if i can get a better buying point i have few shares on my portfolio my public and private portfolio but i'll wait on it a little bit and see 
you know if i get a price around six dollars or five dollars that's going to be a very good entry point but if not maybe i'll just get a little bit into it kind of average down once it kind of comes back to where it's fair value you know at the bottom if you see the indicator uh, it kind of shows that it kind of overbought based on the hype right so you know overall my experience uh in 3d printing when i was in college is that we use 3d printing to kind of design uh low tablet for third order countries you know and uh it helped especially in the prototype stage you know we never experienced you know printing uh electronic circuit boards but we uh, designed the cover screen and all that and did a prototype 3d printing with it it was very helpful and very interesting just imagine where it could be you know i know some companies are actually designing and printing even body tissues you know that is very interesting uh, especially if we transition into robotics uh, this market could be very very helpful in that sector i hope i added value thank you for watching this video please uh, share subscribe if you have any question leave it in the comment section thank you so much guys have a wonderful day